welcome to story time. In this episode, I will be telling you a story about what would happen if the world ended right now. And this story is called... It's the 2nd of December, 2017, on Earth. A planet once filled with life is now dead and empty. From space, it can be seen that the planet has a massive hole in the middle of it. Meanwhile, two spaceships fly over its red sky. Inside each spaceship, there is an alien. The two aliens have come to Earth in peace. However, setting off five years ago, they were sure that there had been life on this planet before. The planet's dead. There's no signs of life on it. I think that we should go back home, said the first alien. After that, he received a smack on the frontal lobe from alien number two. You idiot! We've been travelling for five years just to get to this planet, and now that we're here, you just want to go back home? Come on, we've got research to do about the planet. If we get enough information about this planet, we might be able to revive the things that lived here with our technology, said the second alien. For a month, the two aliens searched the planet up and down and all around, trying to find out some more information about it and what had lived there. They managed to find some old broken pieces of technology there, which they easily fixed with their alien technology. That was when they discovered the internet. They spent another month learning one of the basic human languages, and then did research all over the internet using their new language. Eventually, after two months, the two aliens agreed on a logical theory about the planet. This planet was a planet filled with beautiful natural landscapes. It had mountains, deserts, jungles, and anything you could imagine. And they called it Earth. Along with the landscapes, the planet was also home to loads of amazing and unique species. The species which ruled this planet looked like this. It was hard to say if they were the dumbest or smartest species though. The species which ruled over this planet were the humans. They called each orbit a year. However, they started to count the orbits a few million years late, effectively resulting with a year somewhere around 2015. Excluding the fact that there were always some smart people around, there was an average rank for smartness of each so-called generation, or a group of people about the same age living at about the same time. This graph shows that people a long time ago were quite stupid, but not stupid enough to top the last generation. On average, most of the young people had grammar equivalent to a five-year-old and the logic equivalent to a three-year-old. They used moronic excuses such as the slang term YOLO in order to get themselves into near-death danger, took awful pictures called selfies, usually based in the bathroom, and said dumb stuff which didn't make any sense all the time. Music in the last generation was also awful. Music had managed to get from this. To this. Tracking the disaster. Us aliens have just worked out that it had been sent to Earth by another alien planet which was probably fed up with the stupidity of most humans. On the 1st of January 2015, the skies of every city turned red, and a meteorite half the size of the Earth appeared in the sky, crashing into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. The Earth spun out of orbit, flooding over everything. Then, since the Earth got closer to the Sun, almost everything there got dried up. And that was the end of the unfortunate little planet. But instead of getting scared and calling for help, everyone just tweeted about the end of the world in their last moments. There was a long, awkward silence between the two aliens, until one of them said, I don't really want to revive these humans. Let's go back home. So the two aliens set off on their long journey home, leaving Earth behind. a nice story. I hope you've all enjoyed this episode of Storytime. Have a good night's sleep and goodbye everyone.